Good morning, folks. I'm Mr. Ella J. Dwight Sanford here. I'm doing the opening today, and uh, welcome, welcome. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in to ETC and the Sherry Show. I'm your co-host, and have you ever just seen somebody that sits around all the time and they don't talk much, they just don't say a lot? Well, that's not Sherry. That's somebody else, and uh, I tell you, I, I said something one time, I said, you talk too much. You just talk way too much. She said, I get paid for talking. I said, okay, you must be a trillionaire. <laughs> and that's my opening. And he gives me a hard time, but he loves talking to me. We talk about everything. Yeah. And boy, do we uh, get into we get into politics a little bit. We get into put on a, a little bit. I put on a shirt this morning, a, a decent looking shirt. I, I thought, I'm going to try to look like somebody today. I'm going to try to look like I got sense. And you know what my daughter said? Uh -uh. Dad, it would take a whole lot more than a shirt to make you look like you've got sense. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Don't you love it? That's not sweet. We're, no, it is. We're, it we're, is a, funny, but we're a funny know. bunch. Yeah. She's, she <clears> is. Um, is she a little bit humorous like you? No, she's a whole lot humorous. Could you do some things that would make people laugh today? Not today. Uh oh. That must be. I got to study. It's because we have an audience. That'll be pre-recorded. Yeah, I got good people over here. Good people I'm trying to impress today. these good folks over here. We got. We have a studio audience. And we want yeah. to keep it cool, calm, collected. Know. Yeah, I've been getting lots of comments and phone calls. People enjoying the show. They loving it. Mm -hmm. And do you know that they really, really love your music? They seem to. And that's what enticed me to do this five for forty-five. You don't. You've get, been selling lots of CDs. You don't get one of his CDs. You don't get two of his CDs. You get five CDs for forty-five dollars. I just have thought to catch of something. Me at the cabin. I just thought of something. What? You've been selling lots of CDs, and I have not been there. That probably explains it. Uh, no, people want to see you. The reason we have audience today is because they came Saturday to see you and you weren't there. So I said, well, the best thing to do is catch him on live TV. So there you go. Yep, here we are. Here we are. Actually, I look like a, I won't call the name, but I look like a delivery boy. They wear this color. Yes. <laughs> I just, that just now dawned on me. UPS, then you make yeah. a lot of money if you're a UPS No, driver. you make a lot of money because you get paid for talking. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Oh, it's been a... Um, hey, if they paid you a nickel an hour for talking, I'd you'd be still rich. be rich. Yeah. I'd be rich. Yeah. I'd be rich. Boy, what I if, do I do crack myself up. Listen now, anyway. what if for 17 years you had been in front of a camera and you had had to talk for 17 years? Could you have thought of enough stuff to talk about? Well, I'd probably just do like you. Just wing it. Make it up. Just yeah. wing it. Just, <laughs> just wing make it. Up you stuff just do and it. And talk about it. Yeah. <clears throat> well, let me tell you what I did yesterday. <clears throat> and to my friends up at Local TV4 in Murphy, North Carolina, I went to Murphy yesterday, and man, I loved being in that community. I loved it. I loved your churches. I loved your fellowship. I loved don't we, your mayor. Don't we cover part of Murphy? We do. We so. do. Local TV4 yeah. is actually part of the team here at ETC, and Good. I hadn't been back up there until yesterday. I will say that I was very cautious driving because I did tote a speeding ticket or two out of Murphy, North Carolina. Got you one, did you? Yeah, one or two. I yep. had to learn the hard way. But it was good to be back in Murphy, and I went through the Blairsville Way and went that road, Murphy Highway. It's just a beautiful, beautiful drive. I have some wisdom I'd like to drop at this time. Yes, sir. You can drive five miles per hour under the speed limit mm -hmm. and get there. Uh, 30 seconds later than when if you drive 85 miles per hour 
it's the same thing. Why Cause speed? You're going to get, I know, you're going to get behind people and, and you can't go on anyway. You'll speed for a little while and then you're back to, mm -hmm. so <laughs> just forget it. And it's, it's Drive five, if it says 65, go 60. Then you ain't got to worry about. The Blue Boys. Yeah. <laughs> Today, the Blue Boys were sitting <clears throat> south of Jasper and north of Jasper. And I appreciate that because I'm one of them old ladies who drive on that road four days a week. And I will tell y'all, when they come out of Atlanta, do you know that somebody told them there's gold in them thar hills and they come up here way too fast? Yeah, you're talking about 515? 515. I go 05. Oh, yeah. Well, when I'm in a hurry, yeah. I go 515. And people are driving way, way, way too fast. There have been uh -huh. way too many wrecks and way too many cases of speed kills. And so slow down. Yeah. Listen to that. Man, yeah. knows the math about yeah. it. I couldn't have done that math and figured that out, that you could get their 30 seconds difference. <laughs> yeah. No way. Well, it's the truth. I yeah. mean, you can try to speed, but you're not going to get there any earlier. And I love when somebody <coughs> passes me, and then I pull up at the red light out here at Longhorn, and I glance over, and there they sit, because they're at the same red light I know. I'm at. Yeah, they pass <laughs> you. <laughs> they pass you just north of Canton running, yeah. <coughs> running 85. Yep. And then when you get to the Longhorn Red Light, they're yep. sitting beside there they you. Sit, and I just look over there and grin. And it's I called see. six one and half a dozen of the other. That's it. That's it. Well, I found my favorite bumper sticker yesterday, and I hope I can pull it up. I don't know, but it said something about that the reason you had the political um, arena that you're in is because not everybody can be on welfare. Do you get that? I get it. I get it. And so I kind of laughed and I took a picture of this guy's car. He was a U.S. Marine, so honors to you, gentlemen. And he had this really cool bumper sticker and I said, let's get a picture of that. And I did. We are in a world where if you want a job, there are millions of jobs out there that haven't been filled yet. You can get a job. You can get a job. You could get four or five jobs with your talent. You could be any and everything. What are you? Retired. Retired and working yourself to death on 57 Fords? If I don't quit retiring, I'm going to work myself to death. Yep. yep. Okay, update on 57 Fords. What's happening? You mean at the <clears throat> body shop where we Can't will not mention? It. Yep, yep. It's back on the rails. It is uh, The mounting kit has been done. We ordered the bolt kit from Bob Drake. All the front end is about to go on it, and it's pretty close to paint. And it's going to be, you black. finally decided black. Black with red interior. Oh, wow. And, That's really uh, cool. And it's a 57 Fairlane. We got it. Can, can, I, can I talk about these folks? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah, okay yeah, to yeah. say who you are? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're very honored. I'm very honored <laughs> to have my favorite preacher in the house today and his lovely wife, Carol. Yeah. The Reverend Wallace Parks. Yeah. Thanks awesome. for coming. Awesome, awesome. Thanks for coming. And and you know we You can do that. They can they people can, can come, come by, yes. yeah. Just yes. come and see Absolutely. us. Sit here and watch this work. Absolutely. Um, they are also dear dear <coughs> friends with two of my best friends, Margie and Charlie Moe. Well and and, 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 and Wallace Parks here, the, the my favorite preacher, loves fifty seven Fords. He does. He so does. we got something in common. He does. And I said, what a uh, board town 44 years ago became very important to me long before I even knew anything about ETC or LJ television or anything, because my late husband took me to visit Margie and Charlie, and we just immediately hooked up and, and became the best of friends, and their daughters, Sandra and I, are like sisters. And um, just, there's something about that board town community. It's tight. It's good folks, isn't it? Mm -hmm. good I love folks. board town. Yeah, there's something about that drive, yeah. that road. And, and we have to give a shout out and a, another thank you to the memory of David Ralston for saving board town. Because yeah. they were trying to destroy it with those big old power lines. And um, he gave them a little idea, and that idea went to work. There you and go. now they're not tearing down board town. So right. that's really, really cool. Now, you haven't been to the estate sale that I'm going to be working. I'm doing an estate sale tomorrow, weather permitting. Can you pick up those bears over there and put them up there beside you? This lady and, and gentleman in their later years are downsizing, and 
she collected any and everything in the world. And I've never collected Boyd bears, but I know half the world does. And when I walked in and we started getting her estate sale out. Leave it here going, or set them up one at a time? We're going to show them. Yeah, let's just, let me get a couple of them. But this, some of our viewers had asked about them. And I said, well, I've never collected these bad boys. But this lady collected a ton of them. And she has sets and she has little ones, big ones. And we're going to have, there are a lot of collectibles at this sale. There are a lot of antiques at this sale. <clears throat> There's a lot of really, really cool stuff. He was an educator. He was a counselor in the school system in Cobb County and Bartow County for many, many years. And um, it's an honor to help them. Um, she is um, not in great health, and he is uh, battling some early dementia. And we just, they're just precious. I just love them, and I just, I want to help them do this. And so we're going to do it. So if you like Boyd Bears, they have the little desk, and they have the little chair, and we have all kinds of things there. And it's going to be tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock, and I will post on my Facebook page the address because we're got, not going to disclose the address early because people, they don't drive anymore, and I don't want them to be in a position that people show up before I'm there. So it'll be 10 a.m. in the morning until 5 p.m., and it's five miles outside ball ground. So you can put that bad boy back in his basket. This is a little sassy girl. I don't know what her name is. But I, I'd say she's sassy, sassy attitude with that big bow in her hair. And this one might be an Americana bear because it's red, white, and blue. So, and again, Boyd Bears, if you collect them and you're looking for certain ones, we have a bunch of them. <laughs> Does that look like the bear that goes through your yard? It's one way to ruin a bear's <laughs> face. <ain't it? laughs> You're crazy. You're crazy. Well, recently we did something that was a lot of fun. And for the first time ever, I left the room while you were doing some recordings. Because usually I'm sitting there with one of two iPads. But we did a Heart of the Home, and you and Tim just kind of conquered the world. Yes. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. And we had your daddy's picture sitting yes. there. And his flag sitting George there. George A. And we did some music, and if you had to, if you said, Sherry, tell me the songs I sang that day. I couldn't tell you for a million dollars. I sure dollars. can't tell you. I think Silent Night was one of them. People are always asking me, Is Silent Night how do you remember the words to a thousand songs and you can't remember what you had for dinner? <laughs> and you don't know. You don't have a clue. I have no answer. <laughs> he doesn't, but we're going to show you some footage. This is the heart of the home that will air next week. And um, it is in front of, it's with the Christmas trees, and it's, we decorated for Christmas a little bit early because we filmed this a little while back. But you chose some songs, and then you did it, and you nailed it. And uh, it, it just turned out really, really well. So we're going to share a little blippet of that. Y'all are going to get a little preview of Heart of the Home. And is, this, uh, is this at, at that brick house somewhere? Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. yep, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. It is, it is, and uh, it is It is the amazing retro house. It's definitely a retro house. So, so we're going to go and uh, we're going to get a little, little vision of what happened that day. And you and Tim nailed it on the music and using a very, he said this camera is really, really up close and personal. And you haven't seen uh -oh. what this 4X camera does. Oh, so. <laughs> now I'm scared. Right here in scared. front of the preacher? <laughs> Yeah, so here we go. The preacher's here. Do you here, know that? Here we go, Heart of the Home. The Heart of the Home is calling you in. Sherry's in the kitchen, cooking with her friends, sharing recipes together, stories and songs, making new memories the Heart of the Home. Welcome to Heart of the Home. The Heart of the Home really is the kitchen where people begin their days and end their days with good food, good conversation, and time spent together. Today, I'm lucky enough to be spending time with some blackberries that I didn't have to get out and pick. Thank goodness, because I don't like chiggers and I don't like picking blackberries, but I have these beautiful blackberries and I have coated them in sugar and um, let them sit for about 45 minutes and then poured Sprite on it. And pouring Sprite on it is just the easiest thing ever. So I pour Sprite on it and then I melted a stick and a half of butter. And the stick and a half of butter, you add about half a cup of sugar. And then 
equal amount of flour. And that's the crust. This is the simplest cobbler in the world. And everybody for years has always said, how do you make that crust do what it does? Well, it's the butter, the sugar, and the flour. And the combination of those ingredients is just perfect. So you stir it up and then you decide, okay, we need a little bit more sugar. And as you add sugar, then you add flour. You just add about equal amounts of the same two ingredients. And again, we're using self-rising flour, butter, and sugar. And when you get it ready to pour on the blackberries, it should be the consistency of thick creamed potatoes. So see that? There you go. And we're gonna add a little bit more flour and we're gonna add a little bit more sugar. And then we are going to have the perfect crust. And I've been doing this for many, many years and I've shared the recipe with so many people. And they'll call and say, how much milk went in that? No milk, no milk at all. We don't put milk in it. We use butter, liquid butter that you've melted. And this was a stick and a half of butter. And then you just dollop it on top of the berries. And again, the berries were coated a little bit of sugar, and then I poured a Sprite and a half on it. So, and I just found that the Sprite gives it a little bit of flavor, and the berries are a little bit bitter. So, does that make sense to you? And now these are wild blackberries, they're not tame. The tame ones mm, don't have much flavor, but these wild ones are fantastic. These were all picked up in Gilmer County and um, amazing flavor. They are yummy. They came from the foot of Fort Mountain and it's just really, really good, good flavor. And this year seemed to be a bumper crop, which was really, really cool. Now see how simple that was? We did the berries, we coated them in sugar for about 45 minutes, and then we put them in the pan, poured a Sprite and a half on top of it, melted a stick and a half of butter, added our flour and our sugar, equal amounts, and you know, if y'all have watched my cooking show for years, you know I don't measure. I measure a little here and a little there and a little tad of this and a little teeny tiny bit of that. That's about it. But we're gonna stick this in the oven and when we come back, we're gonna be sharing another recipe that has got to be so simple because it is a salad with baked chicken. So it's gonna be really healthy, really easy, really good. And we're gonna do that, but the key to it is we're also gonna use some homemade salsa that my daughter Dawn makes. And you're gonna to get to meet Dawn in just a little bit. She's been making this salsa for years and people swear that it is the best salsa in the world. And I don't know who taught her how to do it because she didn't learn a thing in my kitchen. She was too busy running the roads. I think one of her neighbors taught her to can. So we'll get that story from her when she gets here shortly. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Good evening, folks. As the holidays approach and family gathers in, ain't it good to be home again? There's a storm across the valley Clouds are rolling in The afternoon
holidays, everyone. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says welcome to North Georgia. The leaves are falling and the mountains are calling. Take the back roads and really get to know North Georgia. Combine the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. 
Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. The family's visit to the forest inspired a beautiful question. Mother, mother, am I a tree? You tell me to stand tall. You tell me to stay rooted. I think I am a tree. My child, my child, of course you are. But what kind of tree will you be? The kind to hug or the kind to climb? Doesn't matter what you choose, so long as you choose to be a tree that's kind. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org. Well, I'll be darned it. I just taught people how to make blackberry cobbler, and you just showed them you can sing a tune or two. Yeah, I did. What about that? <clears throat> what about that? You know how it is. And and you already critiqued it, and you already said, I need to have the mic in a different position. Now, let's talk a little bit about how you make perfect decisions in television, in recording. The mic placement's very important, isn't it? Mic selection is everything. Mm -hmm. Also, mic placement is everything, plumb down to an eighth of an inch. It's everything. And you said, I ought to know better because the guitar picked up better that than my voice That ain't what did. I said. <laughs> what did you say? I said, or to note it. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> and so now, would you make us Again, I was, I was studying about somebody trying to make me teach people how to cook. <laughs> And you caused me to overlook the mic placement. I know it. It's my so fault. So I'm blaming it on you. It's my fault. Yeah. It's my fault. Okay, now are you going to make us re-record that or are you going to be happy with it? I'll hush about it. It's, it's close enough. All right. All right. Yep. Good. Because we I did not want to recreate that. Yeah, well, I'll hush about it. But we did have the world's best salsa that night. Yeah. And if you're yeah. good for Christmas, <clears throat> Santa Claus has told me he's stopping out on 382 and getting you some more salsa. He goes that way, does he? He does, yeah, he does. He'll come up 382. Well, if you could, up, tell him can... something for me. What? Tell him not to be losing it in those driveways <laughs> yeah. that, on the houses that he gets to before mine. Yeah, Because yeah. they'll go out there and pick it up, and then they won't have any salsa by the time he gets to my I house. Know. I know, Santa Claus tales, don't you just love them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Santa Claus is um, coming to see all these good kids. And if you're a really, really good kid, maybe in your stocking, you'll find a song about Ella J. Reckon? Uh, you're liable to. If they're good. If they're really, really good. <clears throat> yeah. So don't forget, I'm going to be over at the cabin on um, Saturday and Sunday. And you can pick up your CDs, five for 45. We have very, very limited T-shirts in, but there will be some hoodies and long sleeve stuff coming in real quickly. And um, we like seeing folks wearing stuff that says, welcome to Ella J. Yes, we do. And what about them old apples? How do you like them? I like them pretty yeah. good. It's Keep buying. We appreciate you going by there and buying CDs. It's, it's been going good. And I promise to stay out of there so that you can enjoy your visit. <laughs> You're crazy. Yeah. But they hear your music because I blast that big old TV with your music. And then I got that other thing out there. What do you call that? That 
wireless yeah, thing. Bluetooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then I blast the music so they have to hear it. And then once they hear the CD, they say, I believe I'll buy some of them. Yeah, well. That's the technique I use. Proof is in the pudding. Yeah. I'll say this. I've said it before. Get you one. You'll like it. <laughs> you might like it. Yeah. You might like it. And if you're an old geezer and you like old cars, you will love Southern City Lights because you uh -huh. put it in your old car and you just feel like you're 17 again. Mm -hmm. It works for me every time. And then I realize I'm not 17 Is, is this a hair joke? <laughs> no. But let me tell you. Because I had hair when I was 17. Is that where you're going hair. with this? He had, he had long hair, y'all. He looked, who, who would you say in music you looked like? Who did you, because your hair was Most long. any of them, they all had long hair. They all hair. had long yeah. hair, and they all wore bell bottoms. And yeah. we have pictures of him with lots of long hair and bell bottoms. Uh, when did you cut your hair? I guess we had to talk about this on TV, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. It's getting back for the day. For the day. third time, let me, let me remind you. My favorite preacher and his lovely wife are, are sitting so right here. Sweet. <laughs> Some of this you could leave out, I guess. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> They'll enjoy it just as much because he's got a big old head full of black hair. So <laughs> <laughs> I know he's enjoying it. <laughs> Something ain't right about that. I know it. I know it. Lord got have all mercy. that pretty hair. Look at there. I know it. I know it. If you couldn't have fun, you couldn't get through this old life. Now we did. You did a song this morning. I'd never heard that song before, but I think it's I think you were lives. impressed, wouldn't you? Oh my gosh! The preacher liked it. Yes, yes. Preacher and the his preacher wife and liked his it. Wife liked it. Yep. It is going to touch your heart, and I want you to hit your DVR because this is a song. I tell my kids all the time. This is what I want for Christmas. I want one of them to quit smoking. And I want the other ones to call me, do not text me. I don't want a text from my children. I want a phone call or a visit. When you hear this song, you will be like, yeah, yeah, there are a lot of mamas feeling the way the lady in this Can song Can I feels. tell about it? Absolutely. Back used to, many years ago, which, which camera? Which, which, okay, yeah, this one. Yeah. Uh, I worked for Junior Land at the Depot Exxon, if y'all remember that. I was the guy who did brakes and other stuff. Brakes and oil changes was my main thing I did. And when there wasn't any customers, we'd sit around and sing. Junior would sing bass. Sometimes he was sort of just now and then. But myself and Melvin Land and his sister Betty would sing this song. And those folks could sing harmony. It's pretty good. Is it coming up now? This morning you dreamed up that you were going to do it. I was in the shower. It. I was in the shower. Is it about to come up? It is in okay. just a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, I was in the shower this morning and I thought of that song and I said, I bet they'd like that. And, and it, it gets will. a thumbs up from the preacher and his wife, so I'm happy with that. And uh, it's called Mother's Rocking Chair. It's really sad. I always loved that little song. Hadn't thought of it in years. And what do you know? I remembered all the words. How do I remember the words to a thousand songs, but I can't remember what I had for dinner? That I can't answer. <laughs> nope. But it's a good little tune, and uh, I had come by to, t to look after my aunt this morning. I always look after her and, and, and take care of her a lot. Or the food's good there, and I go by there to eat. You, you can just take your pick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say the Which, food's pretty good. <laughs> she might tell you I do a few things for her, but that food is not to be ignored. <coughs> there you go. Okay, here we go, and the name of it is? Here it is, Mother's Rocking Chair, recorded just a few minutes ago, right here. Right here? There's a sweet and precious mother Won't you? 
you ask the children Lord to visit me it's a sad heartbreaking lonely picture of a mother just waiting to die all alone without her children Understand. I know they're busy as can be with their homes and family, but won't you ask the children, Lord, to visit me? I know they're busy as can be with their homes and family, but won't you ask? I love that song. I love that song. There are some moms out there that are probably in tears. There are some moms out there that are smiling because their children come to visit. But I precious. hope you never have to sit around and wish that your children would visit you, mm -hmm. especially if you don't have a 57 Ford. That's right. That's right. <laughs> What a great song. What a great song. Now, I've chosen some songs off of your CD. And one of them, you, I called you last week and I said, oh my gosh, this song is perfect for this. Remember the one about Imagine? Oh, yeah. And you asked me, you said, I wondered why you've never mentioned that song before. It's me and him was talking just a minute ago. Me and, me and my brother Wallace here was talking just a minute ago. That CD is my favorite. It's awesome. Nobody else seems to pay much attention to oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> no. It didn't sell anything like what the other one did, but I think it's better than the other one. But, yeah, you know, well, this song, it's called Can You Imagine? Mm -hmm. And it <clears> is <throat> Are you playing it? Are you going to play it? It is going to play right yeah. now, and it will touch your heart. And it is on when you come to buy the 5 for 45. It's on it Jesus on, Called. It's on Jesus Called, which is right there. <clears throat> yep. yep. And it is number six, is that right? So we're going to go to that right Can now. Can you imagine? Yeah. And, and I want you to sit back, and I want you to just listen. Just take a listen, because... We've all lost somebody this year, last year, whatever, and we know, but can you imagine what they're seeing right now? So here we go. See 
sees the beauty And I look on his face I want to walk with mom and dad Down the streets of pure gold Can you imagine, imagine A sight to behold Can you imagine the pain Jesus bore on that day From the old rugged cross to the tomb where he lay And how he died for you and me so that we could be saved Can you Do you know that song is on one of the CDs that is really popular in my car? Mm -hmm. My Bose system loves that CD. If you had to pick your favorite on that CD, what would it be? On this CD, well, it would be, oh gosh, I got two or three here. Uh, well, my all-time favorite here would be Jesus Called a Find One Home. Your mama. Mm. Wow. You wrote that song <clears throat> shortly after? Uh, no, the day of her funeral. The day of her funeral. I was getting ready to go to the funeral and wrote that song. Came in so fast I couldn't even write it down fast enough. I was just scribbling everywhere. Just Isn't flying. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. How <laughs> God gives you this amazing, amazing talent. But you've never done it publicly. The, no, the... I almost did one time. <clears throat> Probably a good idea that I didn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But then the last one we're going to do today that we're going to end our show with in just a little bit is number 10 on the CD. And I enjoy it because it talks about your house doesn't have to be all that, does it? Oh, no. This is a good song. Yeah. Uh, my, me and a friend of mine named Charles May wrote this version, I want to be clear, uh, of this song. And... Uh, I, I, I helped write this version. Now, he has his own version, too, and some other people, too. He's a great songwriter. Uh, but I, I wrote, uh, a, you might say co-wrote this version of this song. He had the idea, and I arranged all this and played all the instruments, except for what you, of course, hear with Lady Astrid. She sings the harmony. And does she ever sing the harmony? Yeah. <laughs> does she ever? Wow. Can't nobody do it quite like her. No, no. And again, um, these make great gifts. It's five for 45. You can pick them up from me or uh, I'll chase you down. I've always got some in my car. And it, it's one of those things. Somebody told me the other day, they said, well, do you still have a CD player in your car? I said, yeah. I used to have a six CD player in my Lincoln that blew a engine at 125,000 I love CDs. I don't I love know why CDs. they had to make that better. No. I like CDs. Why did they take that away? Because now people use, is it flash drives? <coughs> what are yeah, they doing? Yeah, well, cars? that and stream and whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah, but I still like CDs, and so I'm a CD girl. You're going to have to talk because I'm fixing to cough my head off. Uh oh. <coughs> well, while Sherry is coughing, oh, you're finished? Oh, okay. <coughs> I like CDs because I like to sit around and listen to music, and you, and you flip through who did what. It's all written down here, who sang what, who recorded it, blah, blah, blah. And uh, that's just me, though. Yeah, but anyway. Now, you've been listening to some CDs on a Bose system, I understand, that you like. Can you tell the difference in music? Actually, stuff? there, I'm, uh, well, in, in, in my living room, I do have Bose 901s, and... Uh, but what I've been listening to is a Bose computer set. Wow. With, with a subwoofer and everything. Sounds like a million dollars. But there, I stream like those fancy people. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
<laughs> After I sit here and said I love CDs, I do. I do. But you stream. But I'm, I'm streaming when I'm on computer. And, okay. Uh, As a techno technical crazy perfectionist, if somebody were going to give you something for Christmas, high tech, da 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 da, what do you go to that you want? your sound to come through. What's the greatest thing on the market today? How do you keep up with the market? Lord, I don't know. It changes drastically. Yeah, I mean, you can stream or CD or cassette or whatever you want to do, but if you ain't got a good system put together and set properly, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> you're not going to be uh, any better off than you were. I don't know. Uh, bows, I like bows stuff. I love bows. Is this a bows commercial? Yeah. It's no. <laughs> no, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Some people can't tell the difference, but when I buy a car, I want a Bose system in my car. Yeah, Bose is yeah, good. I want a Bose yeah. system in my Bose car. Bose is always good. But now, you studio people out there, I'll tell you this. Don't be trying to mix your music and listen to it back on a Bose set. Uh-oh. Bad idea. What happens? I'll, I'll, I'll tune, in, tune in next week and I'll uh -oh. explain why that's not a good idea. Uh-oh. Are you going to use an example? <laughs> no. I'll just go more in-depth. Okay. It's not a good idea to oh. listen to some music that you've recorded and try to make sure you got it like you want it listening to Bose. Interesting. Hmm. Audio. Mm -mm. Not a good idea. Wow. Wow. Well, Unless yeah. they make studio monitors. I don't, they may do that. I don't know. But anyway, okay, I'll drop a little hint. Bose makes everything sounds good. Yeah. Real good. Yeah. And you'll think, well, this is done. This is finished. And it's not. Uh -oh. <laughs> and then you'll go to something that's not a Bose, mm. and it wasn't finished. Uh-oh. <laughs> not good. Speaking of finished, you have just worked with Vic Davis, and y'all have a little project that is almost finished. Yes, we finished. did. Oh, Vic's watching now. Yep. Vic, I'll pay you some on what I owe you <laughs> as soon as I can get a few dollars together. Oh, Lordy. He calls me all the time wanting his money. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, yeah, uh, yeah we finished a, uh, a, a little CD compilation for Vic, and it's, uh, it's good. He's singing some songs. It's all a tribute to his uh, wife, Sally, and it's, it's about to be here. If I'm any judge of small matters, and I've judged just one or two of them, mm -hmm. and I believe that that CD is about to hit the porch Yay. How cool is that? The guy that wears this. <laughs> the UPS boy. He's about yeah. to bring it home, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Any day yeah. now, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And We're the, really expecting to have it by Christmas. <clears throat> what is that truck that he's in front of on the cover? It's a 36 Chevrolet, Vic. It's a Chevrolet. He loves Chevrolet. I'm still trying to get it back on his good side. I yeah. called his truck a Ford one time. Uh-oh. And he liked to never got over it. If he's even over it, I don't know if he's over it or not. When he thinks of it, he still gets me again. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know why I said that. Somebody said, what kind of truck is that out there? I said, it's 36 Ford. Vic went. <laughs> and there's something about Chevrolets. When we talk hot rods, the number one selling hardest to get Chevrolet in the world today is a... It'd have to be a 66 Chevelle 138 Super Sport car. If it ain't a 138, you ain't got a Super Sport. With what kind of engine? That old 396, 375 yeah. ground pounder. Yeah. <clears throat> Google, today, <coughs> Google today and try to find yourself one for any price. Yeah. For any price. There's lots of 67s out there. There are lots of 70s out there. Mm -hmm. there. There are lots of other Chevelles. I love them all, but my favorite is a 66. Why is it so hard to find? I don't know. I mean, you'll find one somewhere that needs $100,000 spent on it, and it'll cost you 25000 just to buy it. They're, they're, they're really expensive, rare. It's strange. It seems that way to me. Yeah. And it's uh, weird because I Google all the time looking because I said one of these days I'm going to find another one, but yeah. they're just hard to find. So if you have a special car, if you have a really cool car, you need a copy of Southern City Lights to play in it, don't they? Plug it in. Plug it in. Yeah, and go through those up. gears. <laughs> see what <laughs> it makes right. you feel that's like. That's right. That's right. Yep. <clears throat> now, you know, when we talk about your friends and your old cars and all the people, there are some of them aren't, who've aren't gone on to be with Jesus. There are some of them that have moved away. But there's still a lot of guys who are still in this town. 
and a couple of them <clears throat> still working building engines some of them um, still doing some body work it's amazing the people who fall in love with old cars and never get over loving mm -hmm. those old cars. It's a passion. You know? It's a passion. It is a passion. Yeah. Love them old cars. Have you ever done body work? Me? Yes. Lord, no. Could you? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Didn't yeah. take long to answer that one, did it? <laughs> no, no, no. Lord, no. I, could, I couldn't do body work. And what is the key to painting a car black? It it's to got be to be straight. It's if it ain't straight, perfect. you'll be the first one to know it. Yep, yep. Somebody will walk down gotta there. Gotta be the straight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When you decided to paint the black one, you were going to do it black and yellow, and then you changed your mind. Yeah. Because? I don't know. I'm just back and forth. I'm like that. I'll be dead set on something, and then you'll see me, and I've changed my mind. Is that human? Preacher? Yeah. That's just human. Yeah, that's human. Yeah. Okay, well. <clears throat> or it's female. You probably can't tell by looking. <laughs> Women change their mind all yeah. the time. <laughs> you might not can tell by looking, but I reckon I am human. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. again, that may depend on who you ask. <clears throat> but no, seriously, uh, I had thought black and yellow, and then I, and then I decided, yeah, yeah, daddy had a yeah. black and yellow yeah. one when I was little. But I decided uh, just to go black and red interior. Do you vote for that? Black and red interior. Black and red interior. Got, got yeah. two votes yeah, on yeah, here yeah. already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at the time. Okay. We are going to end with a song. Yeah, it's a long one. I it's, don't write short songs, folks. It's five minutes and 16 <laughs> seconds. So yeah. we hope we get the whole thing yeah. in. So. Look at the time on them. You'll yes. know who wrote it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. It is called, and it will remind you of many of the areas that we serve. We don't all live in big fancy houses. We don't all have the best of everything, but we have a possibility. And I, I want to make something clear, too. Now, I've, I've said on here several times, things have not always been like they are today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I lived that very, every word of that song I have lived, mm -hmm. and that's the truth. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go right now to number 10, and it is called My House of Prayer. is old and run down It's off the main road Just a half mile from town And it's been beaten by the weather And it ain't much to see But in this rundown old house is where the Lord visits me. There's a picture of Jesus hanging over my bed. And by a rusty old heater is where the cold north wind blow. but the presence of my savior gives this old house a glow it's not a mansion on a hilltop or a flat in LA but you To the county, it's an eyesore, it's tattered and torn. But in this rundown old place, a new man was born.
the floor is cold and bare All I have for a mattress Is an old piece of foam But there's a feather It's not a mansion on a hilltop or a flat in L.A., but you ought to know the beauty I see every day. To the county, it's an eyesore, it's tattered. But in this run-down old place A new man was born Yeah, the cupboard's all empty And not a penny to spare But this run-down old place Is my house